Welcome, welcome third graders back to our third week of distance learning music lessons. We are going to jump right in today and let's look at our agenda. So today we're going to practice singing two songs um, that we learned last year. They might be something you remember or something that you don't remember or maybe you're new to university and you haven't learned these songs before. So we'll go through those two. We're going to sing some solfege patterns, which just means we're going to use Do, Re, and Mi language when we sing. We are going to remember a, a rhyme that goes at a certain rhythm from last year, and we are going to listen to some music and focus on our breathing and just how that affects our body. We are going, our learning target today is to sing with accurate pitch. So when we sing, making sure we can control our singing voice and really hit the pitches that we are aiming for. So moving on, we are going to sing to start with. So this first song is called Sailor, Sailor on the Sea. And it goes like this. Sailor, sailor on the sea, sailor, sailor on the sea, sailor, sailor on the sea, what treasures have you brought for me? I'm going to do the first line. Could you repeat it back to me, please? Sailor, sailor on the sea. Your turn. Ready, go. Second part. Sailor, sailor on the sea. Third part. Sailor, sailor on the sea. What treasures have you brought for me? First two parts together, I'll sing, then you sing. Listen to how my voice sounds. The words are not that difficult because they repeat, but the, they don't sound the same. Sailor, sailor on the sea. Sailor, sailor on the sea. Your turn. Ready and go. Third part and fourth part from me. Then it's your turn. Sailor, sailor on the sea. What treasures have you brought for me? Ready and here you go. all four parts. You can sing, uh, why don't you listen one more time so you can hear how they all go together and then sing it after me. But this time I'm gonna have you pause the video and do it instead of me giving or waiting that long, okay? So I will sing four, you pause the video and you sing. And it might take you a couple times, you can rewind if you need to, ready? Sailor, sailor on the sea, sailor, sailor on the sea, sailor, sailor on the sea, what treasures have you brought for me? You know what to do. All right, so thanks for practicing that sailor, sailor song. Our next uh, thing is we are going to learn a new uh, a rhythmic rhyme that we you may remember or it may be new it goes like this one two three johnny caught a flea flea died johnny cried one two three all right now i'm going to add something back up a little bit here see if you can see my hands it goes see if you can keep the steady beat while you hear it one, two, three. Johnny caught a flea. Flea died, Johnny cried. One, two, three. Now I'm going to add one more thing. See if you can catch it. One, two, three. Johnny caught a flea. Flea died, Johnny cried. One, two, three. Did you notice that there were some claps in there that time? See if you can add those in. One, two, ready and go. One, two, three. John 
Johnny caught a flea. Flea died, Johnny cried. One, two, three. Now, I went through that very quickly. You can pause and rewind. You can practice. You can just pause and practice. But your seesaw activity for today is going to be to uh, go into seesaw, click on the activity. Oh, excuse me, you're going to either video record yourself or audio record. So you can either click on the, the camera and then the video, or you can click on the microphone and just record yourself saying and clapping that, uh, excuse me, and keeping the beat to that poem. So I want to see you or hear you go one, two, three. Johnny caught a flea. Flea died. Johnny cried. One, two, three. And so practice it until you feel like you can do it at that rhythm and then show me in CISA. All right, thanks. Back to our solfege patterns here. I am going to sing. Um, they are short patterns and your job is to sing back to me. I'm going to give you just about four beats in between and then I'm going to go on to the next one. So I sing, you sing, I sing, you sing. Ready? Ready. Me, re, do. Do, re, mi. Mi, re, mi. Do, re, do. Do, do, re. Mi, mi, re. Re, re, mi. Re, re, do. There they are. Eight patterns using mi, re, and do. Again, these patterns are just kind of like when we learn a new language. We, we learn words, and then we learn kind of slightly bigger words that like are, we call phrases. And then we start to put those words and phrases together to make sentences and to communicate our ideas. And in music, it's the same thing. We're learning short patterns, then we can start to put the patterns together, and then we can really make whatever we want using our musical uh, ideas. So thanks for practicing those with me today. And our very last thing is we are going to practice some breathing. So let me get the music going. We are going to practice our breathing today. If you would like to uh, close your eyes, you may, but you don't have to. If you'd like to put one hand on your belly or two hands on your belly, you can do that. And I'm going to just, we're just going to listen and focus on our breathing. So everyone, hands on your belly. And as you take some slow, deep breaths in without making any sound, feel the hands on your belly move out away from you as the air fills up your belly. And when you exhale, when you breathe that air out, feel your hand coming in back towards you. Start to feel how the deep breaths affect your body. Are your shoulders relaxing? Does your neck feel a little bit more relaxed? And I'm gonna 
count in for four and out for four. See if you can breathe with me and for four counts in and four counts out. Everybody, breathe all your air out. And in, two, three, four, out. Two, three, four, breathe. In, two, three, four, out. Two, three, four. In, two, three, four, out. Two, Three, four. And keep going if you'd like. So as we kind of listen to that music, we put our focus on our breathing in and out. Think about how it made you feel. Maybe it was something you've never done before, so it felt a little weird. That's okay. Maybe you started to feel relaxed. I know I always feel it in my shoulder muscles. So they start to relax a little bit more. Maybe it's been a really busy day You've had a lot of stuff to do, and your mind has just been going 100 miles an hour. Maybe after taking a minute, you know, a few minutes to listen to some calming music and focus on your breathing, maybe your mind is a little bit calmer or a little bit more quiet after that. And maybe this is just not the thing that helps you relax and calm down. Maybe you have other ways to do that. Maybe you'd like to read a book or just have some silent time. Whatever it is that works for you, I want you to, I'm, I'm challenging you to try to find that few minutes of peace and calm during your day and see if you can use that when you start to feel really tense or like your muscles are just kind of hurting or... You just feel like you haven't had a break all day. This is one thing that helps me when I'm able to just listen to some music and focus on my breathing. So I wanted to share that with you. Thanks for trying it with me. And um, the last thing is going over to Seesaw. That's it for our lesson today. But we're going to go over to Seesaw. You're going to click on uh, Drawing after you click add response and so first add response then click on drawing and then you can choose to either do a video or the microphone and record yourself saying one two three johnny caught a fleet and make sure you get those claps in there where we practiced it during the video all right thank you third graders i will see you again next week stay safe and healthy